Now here's a nice little function that will tell you the root domain of any page that calls it. Now we start out with the function declaration here at the top and we call it get root domain and there's nothing to pass to the function so we just have the two uh, empty brackets at the end there. Now we declare URL okay and what that's going to be is a lowercase string we are forcing it to be lowercase uh, of um, the server variable HTTP underscore host okay now make sure you have the square brackets within there the quotes etc so we start out and that will be the full URL of the page right from the HTTP colon right down to the dot PHP okay now we take that same string and we do a um, replacement here to take out the www dot okay because we just want the root domain we don't want the www now we're passing the new value to the same variable but it's working on the old value from up here okay now uh, we'll do the same thing again we're, we're into the same variable using the new value from up here we're going to do a parse URL command which will create an array okay within this variable here and what we're doing is from that array we're gonna pull out host alright because the parse URL breaks the URL down into its component parts and what we want is the host and uh, that would have returned the www from up here if we hadn't taken it out so that's why we have this on line 7 um, now of course this is a function so it's going to return the value and it's going to have to be called in order for it to work so you've got your function now you go to another file you create another file or you can declare your function at the top of a file and use it below that's fine too but in this case I'm going to show you how uh, to call the function if it's in a separate file which we do through an include statement okay so in this file we want to include the other and that one in the same folder the same directory is called get underscore root domain function dot PHP okay so that means that the function we've just created is now included at the top of this file as if we had typed it out in full okay as if all this text were in there now we create a new variable root domain okay and we pass by, via the equal sign uh, the value from get root domain okay which we simply call in this way again don't forget the closing brackets okay or it won't be treated as a function and then once the root domain is in our root domain variable we can print it out print root domain now if we call this PHP file which we have here in the address hit refresh value was already there but here it is the printout of the root domain helpvideoguru.com so that is how you get the root domain of your URL for any page that calls it alright and the purposes you may have for this you may have uh, various domains pointing to the same host and you can use uh, that value to in a few if statements to split off uh, when somebody calls a certain page you can send them to a particular file or folder um, depending on which root domain they've come through all right uh, I will include this code on my website helpvideoguru.com so that you don't have to type it out uh, visit my website and check out the code and I hope you enjoy it.